Hi, this is Nicole Leon, bringing you Lowrider Magazine's Boulevard Tour 2000. We decided to bring you to one of the places where it all began, in the heart of East L.A. on Whittier Boulevard. Lowriding here has a long time tradition dating back to the 60s and 70s. Follow me as we check out car shows across America. As we travel from city to city, we'll search for the best lowrider bikes and cars in the country. We've got radical cars, bombs, trucks, bomb trucks, traditional bikes and euros. Not to mention the hydraulic competition where you'll see cars hot breaking world records. And we all know you like to see those cars crash and burn, oh yeah. And if that's not enough, you'll see plenty of sizzling hot action at the Bikini and Hard Body Contest. What more could you ask for? So stay right there, kick back, and enjoy the ride. Lowrider Magazine's Boulevard Tour 2000. Breaking all records as we cruise across the country celebrating the Lowrider Cultura. Bringing lowriders together in a nationwide car customizing and hydraulic showdown with a 15 car show tour. Follow us as we visit lowrider car shows in San Bernardino, Tampa, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, San Diego, all in preparation for the ultimate lowrider competition, the Las Vegas Super Show. Let's kick it off with a look at the crash and burn hydraulic action of the Boulevard Tour. Tear it up. Our first stop on the Boulevard Tour 2000 was San Bernardino, California, a longtime stronghold in the low riding community. Vamanos! San Bernardino, California. We're cruising into the National Orange Show Fairgrounds in San Bernardino, California. Many of the best rides are here to represent. We saw a lot of familiar cars, but we wanted to see what they revised from last year. In the bomb category, Mario de Alba Sr.'s El Padrino, a 37 Chevy bomb, featured in the April 98 issue of Lowrider Magazine, captured third place bomb. One of San Bernardino's favorites, Thomas Neely's My 38, placed second in the Bomb Sweepstakes. The 1998 Bomb of the Year winner took the first place bomb. Pura Vida often shows up at San Bernardino shows. The competition knows that Paul and Peter Thomas's 1950 Plymouth is one of the bombs to beat to take first place. 